Hey nieces and nephews, this is Uncle Chris, and I already spilled some water on me. <laughs> Listen, I got that frozen pulled pork. I thought it was chili, but it's pulled pork. And I said, what am I going to do with it? Because I got to cook it tonight for my sister and Jay. Got an idea. I'm going to do fully loaded baked potatoes, but Southwestern style. Come on, check it out. take this. I already got my potatoes cooking in the microwave. I got some green peppers, red peppers, and some onions. I'm going to saute these, heat up the pulled pork, put it over top of the potatoes with some cheese I have. Remember that cheese I got from the um, big food pantry emergency thing from the church? Mm. I'm going to melt that Mexican cheese over top of this and it is going to be good. Come on, meet me over at the stove and I'm going to show you how to do this. <laughs> This meal is easy and quick. When you're ever in a pinch, do this. Now, I'm gonna take these green peppers and onions. Oh, yeah. Start sauteing them around. Green peppers first, because they take the longest. the pulled pork, I'm just going to open this up and put it in the thing, the pot that is. This is an easy food pantry meal. So everybody out there who uses the food pantry, check this recipe out. Mm. Oh, it smells good. Excuse me. I'm putting all the um, pork in here, y'all. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this container. This is basic. It's, it's pre-cooked, so you just heat it up. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add some barbecue sauce to this. Yes, I am. Use the barbecue sauce of your choice. I'm using mine the way I like it. Oh yeah. Oh yes, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna heat that up. Now, I'm going to add a cup of water to it, and I'm going to let it cook down, okay? Don't worry, it will not be watery, because when it cooks down, that, that water will you know, be gone. And if you want to, you can add some more barbecue sauce, okay? But it's going to cook down. Now, I'm going to stir these around. Get them good. This is gonna be real nice. This is a nice way to sneak <laughs> and put some vegetables into your kids because this is the, the vegetables gonna be on top of the potato. This is gonna be on top of the vegetables and cheese over there. They'll be eating it and not even realize. Yeah, that's right. Turn the tarp a little bit. Now, I am going to add, excuse my reach, a little black pepper on top of this. I am using olive oil, but you don't have to. I'm just using it because I'm trying to get 
trying to keep my weight down. <clears throat> I haven't gotten to the point I want to be yet, but I'm about to buckle down. I had a few health setbacks, but I'm still trying. I got to get my steps in there. In fact, the doctor told me to. So, you know, the traveling back and forth gets a little to me. Sometimes I can't travel and I can't do my Uncle Chris videos. Mm. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to add the onions. Oh, yes. We're going to saute all of this around. Now, you know what really makes this taste good? If you use bacon grease. Uh, I know what you're about to say, but trust me. It's, uh, Ooh, Lord have mercy. Speaking of which, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to add a little bit right now. All right. I'm going to let these get sauteed and nice. <laughs> All right, these are coming out nice. Now, I want to add some more smokiness to this uh, vegetables. After all, this is a Southwest baked potato or loaded potato. So I'm going to add some liquid smoke. Now, if you don't have liquid smoke, you can use bacon. Okay? That'll do it. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The fact y'all know what? Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm going to add me a couple strips of bacon in here. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. This will all cook together and give these potatoes a really good flavor. I'm going to let this cook up. Man, these are going to be good. Mm. And right back. Nieces and nephews, you're going to laugh your butts off. So, this is coming out wonderful. It really is. I guess this could be a happy mistake. I tasted this here, and it is chili. <laughs> it is not full pork. Ah! So, these are going to be loaded chili cheese potatoes with grilled, excuse me, sauteed green peppers and onions and bacon. This is gonna be delicious, trust me. When life throws you a curveball, you curve with it. I can't believe this. I thought it was full pork, it's not. <laughs> That's okay, it'll be nice and tasty. Nieces and nephews, I just had a <clears throat> bit of an epiphany. Since this is chili, I'm going to add some black beans to it. Oh, yes, I am. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Stir this up. This is going to be really good. This is going to be a winner right here. All right. Let me get these vegetables and bacon done. Now, <clears throat> I want to point something out to you. Cooking is trial and error, but it's also trying things. And things will come to you. Sometimes cooking on the fly, you'll add this and add that and come up with a new recipe. Now this, I've never done it like this before. And I think it's going to be really, really good. Well, I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Let me get these done. Mm. Yes, I wish they had 
smell of it. <laughs> All right, now, nieces and nephews, this is done. Pretty much. I'm going to stir it around a little more. I'll put them to the side. And I'm going to show you a trick. So you don't have to turn on your oven. And you don't have to heat up your house. Now watch what I do. Okay. Got the vegetables to one side, right? We're gonna put our potatoes over here and load them up that way. Put the chili on and melt the cheese. <laughs> Watch this. All right, I've got my baked potatoes sliced open, just like I would any uh, baked potato. I'm gonna put them in the skillet. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fire down. Put them in the skillet. Take your spatula. Mash them open a little bit. Open them up, okay? Use the butt of it. I'm using a plastic one. I don't know why. Open them up just like that, okay? Now, we're going to take our veggies and put them on top of our potatoes. Just like this. Mm -hmm. Turn my fire off with my chili. Put the last potato over here. Put the rest on top of him. Just like that. Try to get them all on there. Now usually I have a whole pan of these and I fill them all together. But tonight I'm just using just enough for me, uh, Jay and my sister. All right. Now we're going to take, turn this fire off, our chili. Load it over top of there. Load the chili right over top. Now you're going to take the cheese. And you're not going to be stingy with it. I'm going to just put a top over this, wait about five minutes, and you're going to have heaven. Hmm. Well, nieces and nephews, Jay and my sister are here right on time, and look at this. Oh. Everybody has their individual potato. Check it out. Just go in your skillet, go right under it, lift it right up, put it in your bowl. Huh, how about that? <laughs> Nieces and nephews, take a look at this. What you think, Jay? <laughs> See, still steaming. You get the first bite. <laughs> Never mind, it's mine. Oh. And on that note, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. <laughs> All right, tune in tomorrow. We got something really cool for you.